Hi everybody, this is Nick from Sabres.com, and these are the Project EF and RH Sabres. They're designed to be replicas of some of the dueling sabers from Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. And although they're very simple in terms of design and construction, they're actually a really interesting piece of filming history and something we were really excited to bring to life. Just as important, however, is that they're meant to be very affordable and to pair with our Nova Carbon Blades to make the best dueling saber you'll ever have and the last one you'll ever need. So let's get into it. EF stands for Ewan's Favorite Saber, as seen in the Episode 3 documentary called Within a Minute. It's the hilt that Ewan McGregor apparently requested for nearly every combat scene, and Saber Wrangler Thomas Van Coverden reported that he used it almost exclusively throughout production. So in my book, this is really the true version of Obi-Wan's Saber, since it's the one he actually fights with on screen. The other hilt, the RH Saber, is also an Obi-Wan lightsaber. In this case, RH is short for Rehearsal. This design can be seen in several behind-the-scenes clips from Episode 3 and was intended to be used as Obi-Wan's combat lightsaber before he would eventually lose that saber and somehow acquire or build his next design. However, that subplot from the film was scrapped and this saber never saw filming. Let's go into the details of each hilt, starting with Ewan's favorite, the EF. As you can see, it's based on the classic Obi-Wan lightsaber design, specifically the Episode 3 version of the saber. As a dueling saber, it's simplified for making it easier to duel with. There were many different variations of Obi-Wan stunt sabers, but this one in particular was Ewan's favorite, and the one he used more than any other. All of the detail pieces and sharp corners are eliminated, leaving only smooth surfaces that are far easier to grip and spin. And critically, the wind vane has been turned into a choke point, very near to the saber's center of balance, making it much easier to execute all of the specific and high-paced choreography planned out by Nick Gillard and the prequel stunt team. The neck and emitter are unchanged from the hero prop, with the exception that the emitter face is flat and lacks the face detailing of the hero saber. The booster, clamp, and grenade sections of the hilt are all combined into a single smooth tube, hard anodized in semi-gloss black with a machined reveal section where the clamp would be. The pommel is geometrically identical to the hero, right down to the small machining detail on the back face, which is likely some kind of tooling mark or where it was cut off of the lathe. Our replica uses a construction method identical to that of the original props. All of the parts simply slide together and are held together via M10 threading that's tapped right into the pommel. Moving over to the RH, or Rehearsal Hilt, we can see a very familiar pommel design, taken right from the Obi-Wan Episode 1 hilt. In fact, that's almost the only recognizable element here, but a more careful look will reveal that the emitter's conical end cap matches the so-called Salt Shaker design that was intended to be used for Episode 3 but was eventually scrapped. Beyond that, it's a very simple hilt, with a choke point that's nearly identical to that of the EF Saber, and a simple tube running most of the length of the design. As with the EF Saber, the construction here is very simple, slide together and screw in place using the pommel as the anchor. You can buy these hilts either alone or bundled with our Nova Carbon Blades. Paired with the Nova Carbon, you'll get a true carbon fiber replica of the original Episode 3 stunt blade. We offer the bladed bundles at the lowest possible price so that you can enjoy dueling just as the actors did, with the same hilts, same blades, same balance and choke points, etc. Thank you so much for watching. You can get your EF and RH hilts now at sabers.com slash store. Thank you so much.